right, welcome folks. Mill Spec Ops Monkey here. This is going to be your sit rep for Monday evening, November 22nd, 2021, about 6.30 p.m. Central Time, coming to you from the great state of Texas. And so without further ado, let me hop on over there. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and bell for notification. Uh, and uh, let's get on over to the board and mosey on over here. I uh, just want to point out, I had a couple interesting little flights. Uh, this one is actually Broom 43. It's a, uh, it's basically a Spybird uh, R135, just rolling out. You can see down here in Columbia again. So uh, we've been doing a lot of trips down here lately. I don't know what's going on and why they keep doing that, but uh, just another data point. But uh, like I said, there is no shortage of uh, the government spying on people right now uh, around the world for that matter. So, uh, so there is that. We've had a handful of sentries that have been hanging out here in the southeast all day. Uh, they don't look to be up right now. Uh, we're currently sitting at 151, which is eh, kind of right in the range of where we expect to be this time of day. Now, I will say, get over here and look at the H60s, and uh, let's see, we filter those. We were up to about 30. Yeah, we're still sitting at 30. Uh, the gray ones are on the ground. Uh, those are Blackhawks, by the way, for those uh, that don't know that. Um, and then, of course, right here in this little section, we tend to get quite a few up. Uh, H60Ys, these are going to be more than likely um, Homeland Security birds. Uh, there's one right there too, uh, right just outside of Juarez. So uh, tucked away in that little corner. We'll look at closer at that here in just a minute. But let me hit reset on that. And uh, we do have a little uh, air refueler tucked out over the water, uh, probably getting ready to do some refueling. Now keep in mind, Flashbang was uh, here at um, Fort Bragg. And then um, he's going to be heading back uh, to the Senior uh, Living Center here in a little bit. Uh, but let's pop over. Oh, with that said, let's just look at the TFRs real fast and see what we've got going on here. So this is uh, Fort Bragg uh, VIP TFR uh, Senior Living Center. And then we've got this one up here. I don't know who is going to go to this one, uh, but it's a VIP uh, in Nantucket, uh, Massachusetts. So there is that uh we do know who is up here that would be uh the kenyan uh is up there and i think john Kerry's up there and a few others uh or aka the jaw and um but there is that nothing really else catches my eye right now on the board uh, a little red one down here is disney disney out here um all right so let me back that up let's jump over here real fast uh take a look at flashbangs calendar now i just want to point something out folks if this doesn't uh, kind of open your eyes <laughs> to to what is over this country right now. Uh, it's not good. It's a darkness. Uh, you can see they're headed down to Fort Bragg to to celebrate Friends Giving. Now, the reason I want to point that out and the reason it's so important is because uh, when you're not giving thanks uh, in terms of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is giving thanks to God. Okay, so when you change that over to Friends Giving. You're no longer giving thanks to God. That's that's the whole purpose behind that. So uh, it seems like a little subtle thing, but uh, that is, in fact, <laughs> what they are doing. So uh, there's no reason why you wouldn't say Thanksgiving and, and be with friends and family like they try to say. Um, and so just another load of rubbish. Uh, but uh, this is why we are where we are today, folks. All right. So uh, there is that. Now let me uh, back, back up here. I just want to look real fast at the... Uh, the volcanic activity going on. Last check, I had eight up. I've got five running. Uh, this is Fuego, Central America, running all the way down here to just uh, almost in Argentina, I guess, um, or Chile. I can't, uh, a little further out. But uh, there's five right here. So we've got two uh, firing over here on the uh, ring of fire, and then we've got La Palma still kicking it like always. So that's uh, eight up right now. Uh, which is kind of our average, uh, which is actually pretty high. But uh, uh, these up here, the one in Russia and the one um, up here in Alaska have not uh, been firing lately, uh, last couple of days. So uh, these tip typically cycle off between the two. But the reason I point these out is because they have ash alerts associated with them. So if you were to get down into this, you can see actually the ash box. Uh, and that would indicate they're, you know, that's... So pilots don't fly into that. That's what this is. Okay. All right. Now, uh, before we uh, get up in the sky again, let's get over here real fast. I just want to point out uh, this is actually going to be the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach. 
just want to show you, uh, we go through this you know, every other day during the week. You can see still racked and stacked here. That is a lot of boats sitting out. Um, again, it doesn't look like they are making any progress. In fact, uh, it looks like this is even more stacked up here uh, closer into the port. Um, so that's a lot of boats, a lot of containers, and that's why you can't get your stuff. So you start talking about uh, Brokeback Brandon. Uh, he is definitely breaking our backs, and uh, I do believe it's intentional. I think this is all right here could easily be um, – Fixed if they really want to fix it, and they don't. They don't want to fix it. So um, probably because they don't know how to fix it. And so, uh, but that uh, if you've had to order anything, I will tell you uh, the frustration. You go to to buy anything, equipment. I was looking at generators, and uh, six to eight months uh, before you can get the parts. You can get a generator, but you can't get the parts. Uh, you know the amp. Uh, you know a hundred amp deals to power your house in. So it's it's absolutely crazy and so that uh, folks looks like <laughs> it's the new norm here right so okay now uh let's get over here to bigs uh we're going to take a quick look at what's going on out here it's been uh busy today in terms of flying but we're not seeing any poppy activity or anything else for that matter let me just kind of bump in and see if we've got anything over the weekend uh looks like we did have a camber flight come in uh, that was a triple seven two hundred out of Baltimore. That's probably troops. I'll be honest with you, um, based on my discussions with a few folks. And so, uh, because of that, I don't want to uh, do any broadcasting, you know, uh, on troop movement. So, uh, but that's more than likely what that is. Okay. Okay. So there is that. Let me see if we got any scheduled departures or depart. Actually, let me just get over to the clean departure board and see if we had anything out over the weekend. So yeah, that one would just look like it round robined. Uh, back and forth from uh, Baltimore. Okay, uh, we do have look like an active. Uh, that's that's probably going to be Homeland Security right there rolling out that AP number. Uh, more than likely, let's uh, click on it, see what we got here. Not getting anything on it? Rolling out of Fort Bliss and got no details. So yeah, that probably is uh, more than. Likely. All right. So if we look at the Eurocopter activity, I typically look at this because I want to see if there's any border action going on that we need to. You know, maybe have eyes on uh, today. A lot of the stuff here, I'm not uh, not really seeing too much right on the border. Texas border is really quiet. Although you guys have probably seen Newsmax, they've got their guys down here. Uh, typically in these, you know, Del Rio area, I think is where they're really focused. Uh, it's that N140 TX tail number that they've been doing ride-alongs with. So, um, but we'll keep our eye on it. Now let's get over here. Uh, these were some that were up earlier today. This is actually going to be one of your Homeland Security birds. Landed two hours, 47 minutes ago, El Paso to El Paso. Uh, but you can see, and of course, Biggs, that's where they're, uh, you know, keeping poppies. And uh, I think even some bananas now are kind of uh, going into the mix. Uh, but you can see they were definitely uh, looking at something. All right. So pretty busy out there. And we don't even, uh, the caravan hasn't even arrived yet. Now, my understanding is that uh, you've got several batches of this caravan. One group's about 3,000, another one's around 2,000, another one's a little bit bigger than that. And they're all just kind of molding together. Probably will arrive, you know, would imagine in the coming weeks. Uh, so, all right. So here's another uh, Homeland Security bird. This landed three hours, 24 minutes ago. And it was out there in Chula Vista, California, along San Diego. Same thing. This is your border right here. And uh looks like they were in hot pursuit for something. So there is that. Okay. All right. Let's get over and look at uh, Swift Air, see what they've got going on now. Boy, this thing has settled down a lot just in the last 30 minutes. Uh, a minute ago, I was looking. We had flights all over, you know, Florida and Texas, several others. Uh, you can see what we've got left on. We've got one coming out of Bogota, Colombia, uh, coming back to Valley, Texas now. The question really is, are they taking people down there and this is empty coming back, or is it uh, empty going down and bringing people back? Uh, my guess is that they're probably bringing people back. Uh, Alexandria to Valley, so that one's going to come out of that 72-hour uh, holding facility. Uh, Valley is actually right there on the border. It's near Brownsville, um, and that's where they frequent out of quite a bit. Okay, and then this last one's coming out of Columbus, Ohio, uh, headed to Vegas. Don't know. I'd have to look at the front leg on that one. Um, let me see if it'll give me that information. See where that aircraft has been prior to that. So 
at Greensboro up up to uh, Columbia. So don't know. Not really sure if that is still actively with uh, immigrants or not. So, okay. Now we'll look a little more specifically at some of the flights that are Swift Air. You guys can see we've got uh, one rolling from Cuba into Miami. Again, it landed four hours, 30 minutes ago. Pretty confident we're taking folks out of here and bringing them into here, okay? Uh, and they're just not saying anything about it. This is all like a little covert op. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, that was at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But if you just go back, just looking at it from over the weekend when we last, um, you know, departed, uh, we were talking on Friday. So check this out. From Sunday, Miami to Havana. How many round trips did that bad dude do? Right? Back and forth. Sunday. So you had uh, one, two, two trips on Sunday coming back and forth. And then uh, today, again, you had another one roll in and come back. So it looks to me like... Uh, they are definitely bringing folks in from, from uh, Havana, Cuba. Okay. And let's go over here. Look at this one in 397SW and uh, give that a second to marinate. It's, it's just thinking. Uh, it's currently in, in uh, route from Alexandria down to Harlingen. We just looked at that one. That's actually live active on the map. Uh, but if we go back to earlier today, uh, you can see that thing rolled out of Valley, took a plane load up to Chicago. All right. And then from uh, Chicago, went over to Minneapolis, St. Paul, St. Paul, back down to Wichita, Kansas, and then into Alexandria. So this thing has been very busy today, uh, moving illegals around the country. Right. Okay. Now one more. This is N629 SW currently rolling out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, down to Miami. And so um, it's actually, oh, actually landed 15 minutes ago. And so that is, let's just look for what it has done uh, just today. Miami uh, over to Houston, Houston down uh, up to Harrisburg, and then Harrisburg down to Miami. So definitely active, moving some folks around there as well. And, uh, of course, you won't hear anything about this probably for about six, eight months until somebody realizes uh, that we have basically been overrun with immigrants in this country, and it's um, going to be a pretty big problem, okay? All right, uh, this is Sierra Pacific in 708S, uh, and this one actually rolled out on Saturday uh, back from Cherry Point, back to home base, Tucson, Arizona. And uh, it actually rolled in on Friday to Cherry Point, so that is going to be a military installation. All right, and then what's really interesting about these two is the fact that they tend to run back-to-back, -back, one right behind the other. It's like a two-ship and uh, same thing, back to Cherry Point. So these two are following each other, 708 and 709. I don't know why that is, uh, but that is just a data point. It'll probably figure out one of these days uh, when we realize we're being, we've been completely bamboozled, okay? All right. Now, over to Guantanamo Bay, and uh, let's see what's going on today. The board is actually clear, not too much going on. Now, we do have one that was scheduled. It is no longer on the board uh, but let me just see here real fast. I doubt it's been canceled. Uh, let's take a look at what rolled in on Saturday. So we did have an Eastern Airlines come in from Miami. Uh, that's probably going to be media if I had to guess because there is an ongoing um, case going on, 9-11 hearing with uh, Shaka Khan. And then uh, we had this one come in over the weekend from Norfolk, which um, that's kind of unusual. We usually don't get them from Norfolk over the weekend, but uh, maybe it, it just... Uh, uh, Tuesday. Yeah, I see what happened. It just didn't come in on Friday. So it's just a day late. So normally you see them on Friday. All right. Okay. So there is that. Um, now if we look at the Gitmo birds, uh, just, uh, point this one out. Now this one is in 312 FU. This is the Maxwell bird, uh, rolling out of Bedford, Massachusetts, uh, headed down to Lauderdale. Okay. And let's see, prior to that, I just want to point out, let me see here, I was on Thursday, that's not that bird. Okay, that one's cool. Let me ju jump over to this one, 301AZ. Uh, Opalaka, just landed six hours ago, went from, uh, from Opalaka up to Gainesville. I want to say that bad dude, round robin. Let me just look. Uh, starting this morning, it went from Lauderdale over to Opalaka, two of our watch locations, right, for um, Black Ops, okay? Um, and then it rolled out of there up to Gainesville, Gainesville to Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is interesting. 
and then uh, Bridgeport to Westchester, New um, White Plains, New York. Okay, but that's today. All right. Now let's see here. Landed six hours one minute ago from Miami to Gainesville. Miami to Gainesville. Um. All right. So that's that one there. Okay. So it's it's now up here in Westchester. All right. We're good. Okay. So let me do this. I'm going to bounce over here to its sister ship, which is 302 AZ. Uh, this thing's expected to depart in 16 hours, and uh, it's going to go from Lauderdale to Naples. All right. Now, notice, um, I just want to point out, remember we had the flight that came in from Naples the other day to Guantanamo Bay. I don't know if there's some type of circuit going on here. I just find it interesting that these Guantanamo Bay birds are all of a sudden uh, doing some leg work over in Naples. Now, this one's going from Naples up to uh, Cincinnati. Ohio, um, but again, we haven't really seen these guys do a lot of work um, over in Naples as in recent past. So this is a kind of a new new area. So we'll continue to watch. The only reason I'm pointing that out is because we just had a bird come out of Naples to Guantanamo Bay, you know. Um, and these are all agency birds. Remember, okay. All right, now last one here. I want to point out this is N one eighty three PA, and this was in actually Mali. Uh, uh, headed to Senegal, and this was today, and uh, just you know, again over here in Africa. So that right there is you know, uh, Kenya is in here. You've got uh, uh, quite a bit of Ebola that runs um, pretty pretty rap. I mean, it's pretty bad actually in this whole area right here. So anytime you see agency birds over there, you have to definitely pay attention. Okay. And so that is today. All right. Now, let me, I just want to point out also this one I actually saw earlier today. Um, this was uh, one of the B703s that was doing some legwork again over uh, kind of the Atlanta area. Um, that is, I guess, central Georgia up to north Georgia. You know, it's kind of, or I say north, not really like Dahlonega or anything like that. But I definitely think ATL is just, just to the north of where you see that activity going on. So, uh, just pointing it out uh, again another data point but these uh these guys are gathering data that's for sure okay all right get back over here to the board let me get over here and hope that our white screen clears out here uh yeah, thank you okay i was a little worried uh it has been giving me a fit lately so uh this can be one of your e6s currently rolling out of dc headed southbound uh so there is that uh, again this is one of your uh airborne command centers um, and that basically talks for missile command, ICBMs, et cetera. So uh, that dude is up. And we got another tanker. Looks like it's headed over the D.C. area. I would imagine we will probably see uh, an increase in uh, fighter and tanker activity over here this week. Okay. And let me see. Another, another gas, gas bird. couple, three gas birds here. So a lot of actually tankers up. Now this C-135 is a spy bird. That one is just getting airborne. Looks like he was doing some touch and goes and now headed east, uh, south of Omaha. All right, again, these are your C-135, E-135, R-135. These are spy birds, okay. So here, and let me see what we got. This one here, Top Cat, R-135, another spy bird, and that is in kind of its normal little area. This is Casper, uh, Rapid City right here. So just running those routes. Now, I don't know really. This is Cheyenne here. We typically see them kind of in that general area. I don't know why. Um, and I don't really know what the reach is on those particular aircraft. Although, uh, given the one that's going down and back and forth from Columbia, uh, South America, back up here to uh, the U.S., I would imagine that reach is probably pretty pretty good. So uh, just because they the way they come up that coastline in here, um, you know, if they're actually grabbing stuff or looking for something in here, uh, they definitely have. That'd be a pretty good range. So okay, let's see what else we got going on here. We got definitely have these out over the water. All right, so these look like they are definitely that's going to be a tanker. That's a Eddie sixty two. And then you got the C-17. I don't know. That looks like an awfully hard line. It probably just lost that signal or something, but it uh, looks like they're both out. That may have been a little gas and go, because that one's at uh, 26,050 feet. 
Uh, let's see what this gasser is here. 28, 9, but he's climbing out. So, yeah, they probably just hooked up out here, which is kind of unusual. I don't know why you'd have a C. That's a C-17 and a tanker. Usually not running short on gas. These bad dudes are globe masters for a reason. They just didn't take on a, a big load or something. But, all right, another tanker, a little P3. Uh, now, that's interesting. So, this P3 went all the way up here. Uh, looks like it did a touch and go. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just wonder why they fly where they fly. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? All right, a couple more air refuelers here. Man, the sky is just full of air refuelers. All right, let's get out here to the west coast. Now, this stuff right here in the panhandle, again, trainers. This, uh, These are all trainers for the most part. A lot of this stuff up in here are going to be trainers as well. All right, that's uh, just a big training area. This stuff in here, the panhandle, that's probably going to be uh, a Loma. That's going to be a Dash 8. That's one of your spy birds. All right, and it looks like you've got a Loma 06 on, just got on the ground and a couple H60s also on the ground uh, a couple B20s headed westbound and then more tanker activity uh, yeah let's see that one is just kind of zoom in here so that's going to be yeah it's a K, uh, KC 135 so that's going to be an air refueler again uh, altitudes at 33,000 feet so typically they're around that 25,000 range and then you can see this one's been out here You've been uh, doing gas and goes all day, too. So that's going to be your uh, KC-46A Pegasus, which is uh, like a 767 um, military version of air refueler, right? Uh, you typically see this because of the naval bases and everything else, Miramar, um, San Diego. I mean, you got all, all your high-speed dudes in here, too, right? So uh, that's kind of common. Uh, let me see what we got out here over Vegas. Uh, R135, oh, there you go. So what's his altitude, 34.8? Yeah, and he's running routes right there. So you can see that R135, again, Spybird, right? So we've got, what, four uh, Spybirds up over the US right now. And um, let me see, okay, good. All right, let me do this. I wanna take a look over Europe real fast while this thing is cooperating with me. Uh, see if we've got any activity going on over here now. Um, as you remember, when I was on Skyglass, I was just showing you guys the, um, uh, there are a couple, I guess you just call them guardian angels, whatever you want to call them. They're sitting at about 62,700 foot today uh, in this general area. We're not picking them up on this uh, uh, flight tracker, but they are over Germany and uh, they, you know, kind of hover in this general area. Uh, three of them up. They're all at the exact same altitude right now. Now, remember, we got Austria that's uh, going on lockdown. Germany's about to go on lockdown. And then, of course, you got uh, three spy birds up <laughs> that probably have pretty good visibility over the whole area. So just want to point that out. I'm um, not going to run Skyglass. I've had some issues with it uh, this evening, trying to get it to run. It kind of times out and exits on me at about you know five minutes in. Uh, nothing that I do. It just decides to exit out. So. Um, and so I don't want to do that to you, so I'll just wait. Um, but th those are up. And then, of course, the one we saw the other day rolling out of New Mexico uh, over towards Oklahoma City has disappeared on us, but uh, I am sure it is still up. And so uh, those are the balloons, okay? And the same thing with the ones that are over Germany. Uh, they seem to be there pretty regularly. So, um, yep, that is a military program, folks. All right. Uh, let's just get a quick look out here over Hawaii and see if we got anything going on military-wise. Uh, we did just have, let me pop that back on, a uh, little R20595. Uh, that's going to be uh, one of your, probably your Army uh, H60s that is up. And then we've got this SW4, which is a nice little bird. And then looks like a fighter that is out over Hano right now. So uh, not too much going on over Hawaii that we can see. Um, Hawaii is a pretty big fighter base, so not seeing them is um, not uncommon. So it uh, looks like we got a little activity here off of Japan and, and the Philippines in general. Uh, we'll, we'll bump into that here just a little closer in one second. Now, Australia uh, is uh, a little bit active. I will tell you, I've heard a lot of crazy rumors going on right now. I don't, uh, don't know 
how much of it is real, but uh, I imagine a lot of it is. Um, this is going to be uh, right here. This is a Spybird, just like our R135. You can see it running out there. Um, now, this is kind of like their variant of an AWACS uh, slash R135. It's got that surfboard skid on the top and uh, looks like it's running some routes off the coast there. And then let me see what this one is. Uh, it's just going to be a 5.7 uh, New Zealand 757 rolling in. A couple H60s, it looks like. Uh, well, those probably EC35, sorry. EC35, those are probably trainers. Then you got this P3, which is a sub hunter. Huh, interesting. So you got a sub hunter that is coming in off the water, and then you have this activity over the water as well. So uh, you probably got a, I would guess you've got a submarine off of here, or what they're looking for. So remember, like just like our AWACS, um, those aircraft have the ability to, to go down and not just out and up. Okay. Um, and so let's see what else we got going on out here. Another, oh, there's another electronic bird. And so again, same one's got the skid on it. So we could be doing pretty busy work this evening. All right. Now, let me see here. I think get up here. We'll get it over Japan and see what we've got. Uh, I don't know what all that is. Chicken scratch. I can't read it, so I'm not going to try to. Uh, that's a Navy 737. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Anything interesting? C2. Uh, that one's kind of a cool-looking little prop job. Let's see what else we got. Oh, there's one of our little Dornier Spec Ops birds. Don't see them out there too often. So uh, this is going to be one of your little, uh, the ones that we actually see rolling in and out of Florida down to uh, Columbia, uh, South America, quite a bit. Don't see these guys too often out here. At least I haven't. Um, but uh, yeah, this is one of your. It's flown by the Air Force, but they do a lot of the Spec Ops stuff uh, with the Spec Ops teams. And so think of like Dagger and things like that. Okay. All right. So that is going to be over Japan. So let me head back up to the US, see if we got anything else catches my eye. I think we're probably pretty good. I'm gonna continue to watch the, the Hilo activity. Uh, again, you've got um, Flashbang. Somebody is headed up here to, um, up to Nantucket. If we get over here to this again. So I don't know who it is, uh, but We'll try and figure that one out. See who's who we got going up to Nantucket. So probably headed there for Friendsgiving, if you know what I'm saying. All right. All right, listen, that is going to be it for our sit rep today. You guys stay frosty out there. I'll be back on Wednesday. And uh, if anything changes in between, then I'll, I'll pop on. All right. God bless. Monkey out. Check out the latest gear and products at monkeyworksus.com.